Students at Rose State returned to classes today just a couple of days after fear struck the campus. A classmate shot and killed the accused gunman, 30-year-old Brandon Morissette. News 4's Austin Brissett has more. The first 24 to 48 hours was pretty hard. I wondered if, I, if there was something I could have done, but the biggest hurdle was to realize that given the circumstance, there was not much I could have. Just two of the many Rose State students returning to class on a dreary Wednesday and just two days removed from tragedy. A memorial for their classmate, R.J. Long Jr., sitting on campus. Students leaving lit candles and notes around it to honor him. Monday, R.J. was shot and killed while walking out of a building with Morissette's wife on campus. Morissette believing R.J. and his wife were having an affair. The scene? Chaotic. I thought I heard what was a popping in. I saw all of the advisors and professors, you know, gathered in the hallway, and I was like, hey, something's going on. Initially, I thought it was one of the uh, pop guns, you know, as a morbid joke, only for us to take a look and see the, the three people that were at the scene. Uh, one female, one male, and the victim going down and hitting the floor. Students Shay Kraft and Kevin McCormick recall being on campus when it all went down. Both sprinted for cover until the situation was under control. Two days later, back on campus, left with the memory of what happened on Monday. No one intended to wake up that day and not carry on with their day. And so I wanted to wrap my arms around the mother and the family of that baby. I didn't know the victim very well, but I did see him around the gym often. And I know that if anything, the one thing he would probably want is for us to keep on going. In Midwest City, Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Austin, thank you. Rose State has multiple counselors on campus and is offering counseling services for faculty, students, and staff at the campus counseling center. No appointment is necessary today and tomorrow. You can find more information for that on our website at KFOR.com.